And that's the BBC News tonight. Good night. Good evening. The news in the southeast. It's believed fumes from a faulty boiler may have caused the death of one man and seriously injured three others at a house in South London. Two women and a man are in the intensive care unit at King's College Hospital. The landlord of the Heber Arms next door to the house in Heber Road was the first to call the emergency services. The ambulance was driven to the hospital by a police officer at the scene. Gas board officials are still investigating. A teenager has died 10 days after being injured in a crash following a high-speed police chase at Brentwood in Essex. 18-year-old Nicholas Searle from Chelmsford suffered serious head injuries when his minivan mounted a curb, hit a tree and span into the path of the pursuing patrol car. Opponents of British Rail's plan to construct a tunnel at Swanley in Kent as part of its rail li link to the Channel Tunnel marched through the village in protest today. People from all along BR's route turned out to show solidarity, many of them wearing black and carrying coffins. Four children and an adult were hurt when high winds damaged a fairground ride on Hampstead Heath in North London. They were struck by wooden slats but weren't seriously injured. Health and safety experts were called in to examine the machinery. Supporters of Charlton Athletic Football Club are celebrating today because their team is coming home to the valley. The club has been sharing with Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park for the last four years, but the fans were never happy and attendances had dropped. I think it will help morale enormously, hopefully bring back some of the old supporters who have perhaps deserted us in the past. And We can all rally round, keep the club in the first division. It can only get better. It's marvellous. We've been waiting four years now and uh, at last we're back and uh, everybody's overjoyed about it. That's it. A look at the weather now with Bernard Davy. Have a good weekend. I'll tell you the big sporting event taking place tomorrow must be surely the boat race.